and welcome to the eFresh.com Coffee News. My name is Kim and these are this week's headlines. India 2009 coffee exports fall 19%. Coffee prices increase on lower dollar and demand. Berry borer menace hits coffee crop. Colombia to import 600,000 bags of coffee. McDonald's takes on Starbucks in Europe. A senior official with the Coffee Board said India's coffee exports this year totaled 87,552 metric tons as of May 29th, down 19% on year. Arabica coffee exports totaled 19,107 tons, while Robusta exports were at 49,253 tons during the period, said the official declining to be identified. The country also exported 19,193 tons of instant coffee from January 1st to May 29th. India exports about two-thirds of its domestic production. A new speculative bubble created by the return of investment funds to the market and by prospects of a drop in global production has pushed coffee prices up on the international market. The U.S. dollar's depreciation against other currencies has also contributed to a rise in coffee prices after a decline in the first quarter of 2009. Since the beginning of April, the September coffee futures contract rose 15.9% in New York to 1.37 U.S. dollars per pound. The prices have also risen in the Brazilian market, and according to farmers, the increase would have been sharper if many of them had not sold their crops straight away. Some analysts have pointed out that the U.S. dollar's depreciation has also been prompted by the return of investment funds to the floating income market. The berry borer menace threatens to affect the India's 2009-2010 coffee crop prospects. But the state-run coffee board said it was taking preventative measures to curb the impact of the pest that has infected plantations some 13,000 hectares, mainly in Karantaka. Mr. G. V. Krinsha Rao, chairman of the coffee board, said the board was trying to raise growers' awareness on the berry borer issue and was actively advocating various measures including clean harvest and pest management practices, among others, to contain the infestation. Clean harvesting, that is removal of all leftover berries and gleanings after harvest season, assumes importance as it restricts the breeding of berry borers, which affect the quality of the beans. The berry borer affects robusta more than that of arabicas. Colombia will import 600,000 bags of coffee this year to meet domestic demands as all the country's falling production will be needed to fulfill export contracts, said Colombia's National Federation of Coffee Growers, or Fed Cafe. According to Fed Cafe General Manager Gabriel Silva, the country will fulfill all its export commitments. He also emphasized that no imported coffee will be relabeled and re-exported as Colombian coffee. In 2008, Colombia imported 167,000 bags of coffee to supply domestic demand. Between January and April of this year, Colombia imported 144,000 bags of coffee. The country will import coffee from Brazil, Ecuador, and Peru. Imported coffee costs about half as much as coffee produced in Colombia. McDonald's is to ramp up its assault on the coffee market by opening hundreds of new Mick cafes in Europe. The Financial Times claims that the fast food chain has set itself the target of overtaking Starbucks as the biggest coffee seller on the continent. Europe already has somewhere in the region of 700 McCafés, which feature high-end coffee machines and operate with or within next to regular McDonald's restaurants. They can be found in Ireland, Germany, Russia and Italy, but not in the UK. McDonald's is now opening more in France and Austria with the target of having 1,200 in operation by the end of the year. The expansion comes as Starbucks is reducing 1,300 stores in Europe, around half of which are in the UK. Thank you for watching the eFresh.com Coffee News. See you next time.